love badminton. I love badminton. I love badminton. I love badminton. Hi, welcome to badmintonplanet.com. Today, I would like to show you the rules for badminton doubles. These rules can be applied to men's doubles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. First, let me explain the scoring system. A badminton doubles is a match consists of the best of three games of 21 points. Every time there's a serve, there's a point score. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a 2 point lead first wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game serves first in the next game. Next, let me show you the following animations so that you can understand the rules for badminton doubles quickly. In badminton doubles, when you first serve, the shuttlecock has to land between the short service line and long service line. If the score is even, such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Player will serve from the right service court. The right service courts on both sides are highlighted with the white squares in the video. When you serve, you always serve to your opponent in the diagonal direction. The serving side will lose a point if the serve lands on the opponent's side directly opposite from the server. If the score is odd, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on. Player will serve from the left service court. The left service courts on both sides are highlighted with the white squares in the video. Again, when you serve, you always serve to your opponent in the diagonal direction. The serving side will lose a point if the serve lands on the opponent's side, directly opposite from the server. As I mentioned earlier, when you serve, or I'm gonna name it the first hit, you have to hit the shuttlecock so that it lands between the short service line and long service line. On the second hit or other following hit, the shuttlecock can land anywhere on the court as long as it stays in bound. Shuttlecock goes out of bounds in badminton doubles means the shuttlecock lands outside of the outer boundary lines as highlighted with the blinking or uh, shaking red lines in the video. Next, I have created an animation of badminton doubles tournament. It is between red team and blue team. Hopefully this will give you a better understanding of how to play badminton doubles. Okay, let's assume the red team has won the toss and decided to serve. The score now is 0-0. Zero, zero. Let the game begin. So the red team player who has a star on the shirt will serve from the right service court because it is 0-0. Zero, zero and it is an even number. The player will serve to the opponent at the diagonal direction. On this rally, the blue team failed to return the serve, and the score now is 1 for the red team, 0 for the blue team. Players in the red team are now switching to a different service court, and the player with the red star on the shirt will now serve from the left service court because their score is 1 and it is an odd number. Whenever the serving side wins a rally, the same person serves again. The serve does not alternate between the partners. It stays with the one person until 
the opponent wins the rally and gets the serve. Player in the blue team are staying in the same service courts. Next, the red team player with the star serve from the left service court and wins another point. It's now 2 for the red team and 0 for the blue team. Player in the red team switch to a different service court again. The red team player with the star now serve from the right service court because their score is 2 and it is an even number. However, the scoreboard shows blue team wins a point from this rally. What's going on? Well, as I mentioned earlier, when the player serve on the first hit, the shuttlecock has to land between the short and long service lines. Since the shuttlecock lands beyond the long service line, this costs the red team a point. Now, the serve goes to blue team. The blue team will serve from the left service court because their score is 1, which is an odd number. Just to reiterate, players serve from the left service court if their score is an odd number and players serve from right service court if their score is even number. Blue team player who has a star on the shirt serves. However, the red team ended up winning a point from this serve. Why? Because when serving, player has to serve to the opponent at the diagonal direction, not the opponent directly opposite from the server. The score now is 3 for the red team and 1 for the blue team. So, the serve goes back to the red team. Since the score is 3, which is an odd number, the red team will serve from the left service court. The red team player with no star on the shirt will serve. But he hits the shuttlecock to light and it lands before the short service line. As shown in the video, shuttlecock should not land on the red shaded region on the serve so blue team wins a point from red team's mystic. The score is now 3 for the red team and 2 for the blue team. Blue team also wins the right to serve and will serve from the right service court since their score is 2. Blue team player with no star serves. They win a point after a long rally. The score is now 3 all. Since blue team is the serving side and wins the rally, the blue team player will switch dif to a different service court and the blue team player with no star on the shirt will continue to serve but he's gonna serve from the left service court. Again, in doubles, the serve does not alternate between partners. It stays with one person until the opponent wins the rally and gets the serve. Players in the red team will stay in the same service courts. Blue team serves and they are able to score a point from this rally. The score is now 3 for red team and 4 for blue team. Well, at this point, I have pretty much explained the rules in badminton doubles. Hope you enjoy and have a lot of fun with badminton. Let's recap on what we have just learned from the video. First, the scoring system. Badminton doubles is a match consists of the best of 3 games of 21 points. Every time there's a serve, there's a point score. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a 2 point lead first wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game serve first in the next game. Next, the rules for the doubles are A. A side can only have one service. B. The service passes consecutively to the players as shown in the video. C. At the beginning of the game and when the score is even, the server serves from the right service court. And when it is odd, the server serves from the left court. D. If the serving side wins a rally, 
The serving side scores a point and the same server serves again from the alternate service court. E. If the receiving side wins a rally, the receiving side scores a point, the receiving side becomes the new serving side. F. The players do not change their respective service courts until they win a point when their side is serving. Lastly, I hope you like the video and have a lot of fun playing badminton. Goodbye.